Welcome, dear viewers, to another captivating episode of Spiritual Paths. In this enlightening video we delve into the transformative acts that drive highly professional individuals towards success and personal growth. Prepare to embark on a profound journey that can positively impact your life in unimaginable ways. By investing your time and attention until the very end of this video, you will be rewarded with valuable insights. These insights will provide you with the guidance and tools necessary to create meaningful connections, unleash your full potential, and embrace personal growth. So, I invite you to grab a notepad, settle in, and prepare yourself for an extraordinary experience. Together, let's dive into the seven acts of highly professional people and embark on a transformative journey towards a more fulfilling and successful life. Watch this video in its entirety and let its wisdom pave the way to your brightest future. So, let's start with act number one, which is, embrace discipline. Highly professional people understand the importance of discipline in their daily lives. They have a clear set of goals and prioritize their tasks accordingly. Take, for instance, Thomas Edison, the brilliant inventor who revolutionized the world with the invention of the light bulb. Despite encountering numerous failures, he remained disciplined, constantly refining his approach until he succeeded. Discipline is the foundation of success and personal growth. It empowers us to take control of our lives, set clear goals, and work consistently towards achieving them. By embracing discipline, we can unlock our full potential and create a life of purpose and fulfillment. Likewise, considered one of the most successful investors in history, Warren Buffett exemplifies discipline in his approach to financial matters. He follows a disciplined investment strategy, carefully analyzes companies before making decisions, and maintains a long-term perspective. Buffett's discipline and patience have contributed significantly to his wealth creation and status as a business icon. So, why should we embrace discipline? Firstly, discipline provides structure and order in our lives. It helps us prioritize our tasks, manage our time efficiently, and avoid distractions that hinder our progress. When we have a well-defined routine and stick to it, we create a framework that fosters productivity and success. Secondly, discipline cultivates self-mastery. It strengthens our willpower and enables us to overcome challenges and temptations that may derail us from our goals. By practicing discipline, we develop the ability to stay focused, persevere through obstacles, and maintain consistency in our actions. Thirdly, discipline breeds excellence. When we commit ourselves to disciplined habits, we engage in deliberate practice, honing our skills and abilities. Whether it's in our professional pursuits, personal endeavors, or relationships, discipline helps us strive for excellence, leading to continuous growth and improvement. Now that we understand the significance of Embrace Discipline, let's explore how we can adopt this transformative act into our lives. Step 1. Set clear goals. Begin by defining your short-term and long-term goals. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, smart goals. Clear goals provide direction and purpose, serving as a compass for your actions. Step 2. Create a routine. Establish a daily or weekly routine that aligns with your goals. Allocate time for different activities, such as work, exercise, learning, and relaxation. Stick to your routine as much as possible, as consistency is key to building discipline. Step 3. Prioritize and manage time. Learn to prioritize tasks based on their importance and urgency. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable steps, and allocate specific time slots for each task. Avoid multitasking and focus on one task at a time to enhance productivity and concentration. Step 4. Develop self-discipline habits. Cultivate habits that promote self-discipline. Start small and gradually increase the difficulty level. For example, Practice waking up early, maintaining a clean and organized environment, practicing mindfulness or meditation, or committing to a regular exercise routine. Consistently reinforcing these habits will strengthen your self-discipline. Step 5. Stay accountable. Find ways to hold yourself accountable for your actions and progress. 
This could involve sharing your goals with a trusted friend or family member who can provide support and encouragement. You can also track your progress by maintaining a journal or using apps and tools that help monitor your tasks and habits. Act number two is cultivate continuous learning. Highly professional individuals understand the value of knowledge and never stop seeking it. One example is Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur behind Tesla and SpaceX. Musk's insatiable thirst for learning enabled him to pioneer groundbreaking technologies and achieve immense success. Cultivating continuous learning is the key to unlocking our full potential and leading a fulfilling and enriching life. In a rapidly evolving world, where new ideas and information emerge constantly, embracing lifelong learning has become more crucial than ever before. Another example is Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft. Bill Gates is a prime example of someone who prioritizes continuous learning. Despite his tremendous success, Gates remains committed to expanding his knowledge and understanding of various subjects. He reads extensively, engages in deep learning on topics such as health and energy, and actively seeks out opportunities to learn from experts in different fields. So, why should we cultivate continuous learning? Firstly, learning expands our horizons. It broadens our perspectives, deepens our understanding of the world, and helps us make informed decisions. By continuously seeking knowledge, we become more adaptable and open-minded, ready to embrace new challenges and opportunities. Secondly, learning enhances personal growth. It allows us to discover our passions, develop new skills, and nurture our talents. Through learning, we can unlock our creativity, tap into our potential, and constantly evolve as individuals. Thirdly, learning empowers us to stay relevant in an ever-changing world. In today's fast-paced society, industries and technologies are constantly evolving. By actively engaging in continuous learning, we can acquire the skills and knowledge needed to navigate these changes successfully. Now that we understand the significance of cultivating continuous learning, let's explore how we can adopt this transformative act into our lives. Step 1 is to develop a curious mindset. Approach each day with a sense of curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. Ask questions, seek answers, and challenge your existing beliefs and assumptions. Embrace the joy of learning and be open to new ideas and perspectives. Step 2 is to diversify your sources of learning. Explore a wide range of mediums, such as books, podcasts, documentaries, online courses, and seminars. Engage in discussions with experts and peers, and actively participate in communities canted around your areas of interest. Step 3 is to prioritize learning in your daily routine. Allocate dedicated time for learning activities, whether it's early in the morning, during your commute, or before bedtime. Make it a habit to consistently invest in your personal growth and development. Step 4 is to set learning goals. Define specific areas or subjects you want to explore and set milestones for your learning journey. Break down your goals into smaller, achievable steps and celebrate your progress along the way. Step 5 is to embrace experiential learning. Seek opportunities to apply your knowledge and skills in real-life situations. Whether it's through internships, volunteering, or personal projects, hands-on experience enhances our learning and deepens our understanding. Remember, cultivating continuous learning is a lifelong commitment. It requires dedication, curiosity, and a growth mindset. Act number three is practice effective communication. Successful professionals excel at expressing their ideas clearly and listening attentively. Brian Chesky is the co-founder and CEO of Airbnb, a successful online marketplace for lodging and tourism experiences. Chesky is recognized for his effective communication skills in promoting Airbnb's mission and creating a sense of community. He frequently communicates with Airbnb hosts and guests, using various channels to share updates and foster transparent and open communication within the company and with its users. Effective communication lies at the heart of human interaction. It is the key to building meaningful relationships, resolving conflicts, and achieving success in various aspects of our lives. Another example is Sheryl Sandberg, the Chief Operating Officer of Facebook, 
is an advocate for effective communication in the workplace. She emphasizes the importance of open and honest communication, creating an environment where ideas can be shared and debated. Sandberg's ability to communicate clearly and foster collaboration has been instrumental in driving innovation and growth at Facebook. Let's explore why we should practice effective communication. Firstly, effective communication fosters understanding. By expressing ourselves clearly and listening attentively, we bridge the gaps between different perspectives and create a shared understanding. It strengthens our relationships and enhances collaboration, whether it's in our personal relationships or within a professional setting. Secondly, effective communication builds trust. When we communicate openly, honestly, and with integrity, we create an environment of trust and authenticity. Trust is the foundation for healthy relationships, effective teamwork, and successful leadership. Thirdly, effective communication prevents misunderstandings and conflicts. Clear and concise communication reduces the chances of misinterpretation, minimizes assumptions, and paves the way for smooth interactions. By practicing effective communication, we can avoid unnecessary conflicts and build harmonious connections. Now that we understand the significance of practicing effective communication, let's explore how we can adopt this transformative act into our lives. Step 1 is to develop active listening skills. Listen attentively, not just to the words being spoken, but also to the underlying emotions and intentions. Avoid interrupting and genuinely seek to understand the perspectives of others. Step 2 is to be mindful of our non-verbal communication. Pay attention to our body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. Aligning our non-verbal cues with our words enhances the clarity and impact of our messages. Step 3 is to practice empathy and empathy-centered communication. Put yourself in the shoes of others, seeking to understand their experiences and emotions. Show genuine care and concern, fostering connections based on empathy and mutual respect. Step 4 is to be concise and articulate. Strive to convey your thoughts and ideas in a clear and concise manner. Use simple language, organize your ideas logically, and adapt your communication style to your audience. Step 5 is to embrace feedback and continuous improvement. Be open to receiving feedback on your communication skills and actively seek opportunities to refine and enhance them. Embrace a growth mindset, understanding that effective communication is a skill that can be developed over time. Remember, practicing effective communication is an ongoing process. It requires intention, self-awareness, and a commitment to growth. By embracing this transformative act, we can foster deeper connections, resolve conflicts harmoniously, and unlock our true potential. Act number four is adaptability. Highly professional people possess the ability to adapt to changing circumstances. One notable figure is Satya Nadella is the CEO of Microsoft, one of the world's largest technology companies. Under Nadella's leadership, Microsoft underwent a significant transformation, shifting its focus from traditional software to cloud computing and artificial intelligence. Nadella's adaptability and openness to embracing new technologies and business models have played a crucial role in Microsoft's success in the rapidly changing tech industry. Adaptability is the ability to adjust, thrive, and embrace change in the face of uncertainty. In today's fast-paced and ever-evolving world, cultivating adaptability has become more important than ever before. Another example is Indra Nuri, the former CEO of PepsiCo, is recognized for her adaptability and transformational leadership. She led PepsiCo through a period of significant change, diversifying its product portfolio to include healthier options and expanding its global presence. Nuri's ability to adapt to evolving consumer trends and market demands contributed to PepsiCo's growth and success. So, why should we have adaptability in our lives? Firstly, adaptability enables us to navigate through challenges and setbacks. Life is filled with unexpected twists and turns, and being adaptable allows us to respond effectively to these situations. It helps us bounce back from adversity, learn from our experiences, and move forward with resilience. Secondly, 
adaptability opens doors to new opportunities. By embracing change, we become open to exploring uncharted territories and stepping out of our comfort zones. Adaptability encourages us to seek growth, learn new skills, and discover new perspectives that can lead to personal and professional advancement. Thirdly, adaptability strengthens our problem-solving abilities. When we are adaptable, we develop a flexible mindset that allows us to approach challenges with creativity and innovation. We become more resourceful, finding alternative solutions, and adapting our strategies to overcome obstacles. Now that we understand the significance of adaptability, let's explore how we can adopt this transformative act into our lives. Step 1 is to embrace a growth mindset. Recognize that change is inevitable and view it as an opportunity for learning and growth. Embrace the belief that challenges can be overcome, and failures are stepping stones to success. Step 2 is to cultivate self-awareness. Understand your strengths, weaknesses, and areas where you may be resistant to change. By becoming aware of your patterns and attitudes, you can consciously work on developing a more adaptable mindset. Step 3 is to practice flexibility. Be willing to let go of rigid expectations and embrace alternative approaches. Adapt your plans and strategies as circumstances evolve, remaining open to new possibilities and ideas. Step 4 is to seek diverse experiences. Engage in activities that expose you to different perspectives, cultures, and environments. Stepping outside of your comfort zone and experiencing new things will enhance your adaptability and broaden your horizons. Step 5 is to cultivate resilience. Develop coping mechanisms that help you bounce back from setbacks and challenges. Nurture your mental and emotional well-being and surround yourself with a supportive network that encourages your growth and adaptability. Remember, cultivating adaptability is an ongoing process. It requires a mindset shift, a willingness to embrace change, and the courage to step into the unknown. By embracing adaptability, we can navigate life's uncertainties with grace, resilience, and a sense of adventure. Act number five is, embrace accountability. Professionals take responsibility for their actions, both successes and failures. Sir Richard Branson, the charismatic founder of the Virgin Group, epitomizes accountability. His willingness to take risks, learn from mistakes, and shoulder responsibility has paved the way for his remarkable entrepreneurial journey. Embracing accountability means recognizing the impact of our choices and actions and taking responsibility for the outcomes. It is the foundation of personal growth, fostering trust, and driving positive change in our lives and communities. Another example is Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, is recognized for her commitment to accountability and transparency. After assuming leadership of the company, Barra took immediate action to address the ignition switch recall crisis, demonstrating her willingness to take responsibility for past mistakes. She implemented rigorous safety measures and fostered a culture of accountability within the organization. So, why should we have accountability in our lives? Firstly, accountability empowers us to take control of our lives. By acknowledging our role in shaping our circumstances, we gain the power to make intentional choices and create the life we desire. Accountability empowers us to break free from a victim mentality and become active participants in our own success. Secondly, accountability strengthens relationships. When we hold ourselves accountable, we build trust and credibility with others. By taking responsibility for our actions, we create an environment of honesty and reliability, fostering deeper connections and effective collaboration. Thirdly, accountability drives personal growth. When we hold ourselves accountable, we commit to continuous improvement and strive to overcome our limitations. It pushes us out of our comfort zones, encourages us to learn from our mistakes, and fuels our personal and professional development. Now that we understand the significance of embracing accountability, let's explore how we can adopt this transformative act into our lives. Step 1 is to practice self-reflection. Take time to reflect on your actions, decisions, and their consequences. Be honest with yourself and identify areas where you may have fallen short. 
Self-reflection helps us gain clarity and insights that drive positive change. Step 2 is to set clear goals and expectations. Define what success looks like for you in various aspects of your life. Establish clear expectations for yourself and communicate them to others. Clear goals provide a benchmark against which you can hold yourself accountable. Step 3 is to develop an action plan. Break down your goals into actionable steps and create a roadmap to achieve them. Hold yourself accountable for executing your plan and monitor your progress along the way. Step 4 is to seek support and feedback. Surround yourself with individuals who will hold you accountable and provide constructive feedback. Whether it's a mentor, coach, or trusted friend, having someone to support and challenge you can greatly enhance your accountability journey. Step 5 is to learn from mistakes and failures. Embrace the lessons that come from setbacks and take responsibility for them. Instead of dwelling on the past, focus on how you can learn and grow from these experiences, using them as stepping stones to future success. Remember, embracing accountability is a lifelong commitment. It requires courage, self-awareness, and a willingness to learn and grow. By embracing accountability, we can become the architects of our own lives, fostering personal growth, and creating a positive impact on the world around us. Act number six is, nurture relationships. Highly professional individuals understand the power of networking and building meaningful connections. Oprah Winfrey, the media mogul and philanthropist, has harnessed the strength of relationships throughout her career. By fostering genuine connections, she has built a global empire and positively impacted countless lives. Nurturing relationships means investing time, effort, and care into building and maintaining connections with others. It is the essence of human connection, bringing joy, support, and fulfillment to our lives. Another example is Arianna Huffington, the co-founder of the Huffington Post, believes in the power of relationships for personal and professional growth. She emphasizes the importance of nurturing connections and building a strong support system. Huffington actively engages in networking events, conferences, and mentorship programs, fostering meaningful relationships along the way. So, why should we have nurturing relationships in our lives? Firstly, nurturing relationships bring happiness and fulfillment. Studies have shown that strong social connections contribute to our overall well-being and happiness. Building and maintaining meaningful relationships provide us with a sense of belonging and support, enriching our lives in countless ways. Secondly, nurturing relationships provide support in times of need. Life is filled with ups and downs, and having a network of caring individuals can provide us with the support and strength to navigate challenges. Through nurturing relationships, we find comfort, encouragement, and a shoulder to lean on when we need it most. Thirdly, nurturing relationships foster personal growth. When we surround ourselves with individuals who inspire and challenge us, we create an environment that encourages self-improvement. Meaningful connections offer opportunities for learning, sharing perspectives, and gaining new insights, leading to personal and professional growth. Now that we understand the significance of nurturing relationships, let's explore how we can adopt this enriching act into our lives. Step 1 is to prioritize connection. Make a conscious effort to prioritize relationships in your life. Dedicate time to spend with loved ones, friends, and colleagues, fostering deep connections and creating memories together. Step 2 is to practice active listening. Truly listen to others, giving them your undivided attention. Show genuine interest, empathy, and understanding. Active listening strengthens relationships by making others feel heard and valued. Step 3 is to express appreciation and gratitude. Regularly acknowledge and express gratitude for the people in your life. Share your appreciation for their support, love, and the positive impact they have on your life. Simple gestures of gratitude can strengthen bonds and foster a culture of appreciation. Step 4 is to be present and engaged. When spending time with others, be fully present in the moment. Put away distractions and engage in meaningful conversations. Show interest in their lives, celebrate their successes, and provide support during challenging times. 
Step 5 is to nurture reciprocity. Relationships thrive when there is a sense of give and take. Be willing to offer support and assistance to others, just as you would expect them to do for you. Take the initiative to be helpful, kind, and generous in your interactions. Act number seven is, maintain resilience. Professionals face obstacles and setbacks but remain resilient in the face of adversity. Take Michael Jordan, the legendary basketball player, as an example. His unwavering determination and resilience allowed him to transcend the sport and become an iconic figure. Maintaining resilience means cultivating the ability to adapt, recover, and thrive in the face of challenges, setbacks, and uncertainty. It is the key to navigating life's ups and downs with grace and determination. Another example is Serena Williams, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, has faced numerous setbacks and injuries throughout her career. However, she has consistently displayed resilience and determination, bouncing back from setbacks and continuously improving her game. Williams' ability to overcome challenges and maintain her focus has contributed to her remarkable success and numerous Grand Slam victories. So, why should we have resilience in our lives? Firstly, maintaining resilience allows us to navigate through challenging times. Life is filled with unexpected twists and turns, and resilience empowers us to face adversity head-on. It helps us bounce back from setbacks, learn from our experiences, and move forward with strength and determination. Secondly, maintaining resilience fosters personal growth. When we face difficulties, we are presented with opportunities for self-reflection, learning, and growth. Resilience enables us to rise above our circumstances, embrace change, and develop new skills and perspectives. Thirdly, maintaining resilience inspires and influences others. When we demonstrate resilience, we become role models for those around us. Our ability to overcome challenges and maintain a positive outlook can inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of resilience in our communities. Now that we understand the significance of maintaining resilience, let's explore how we can adopt this empowering act into our lives. Step one is to cultivate a growth mindset. Embrace the belief that challenges are opportunities for growth and learning. See setbacks as temporary and believe in your ability to overcome them. A growth mindset empowers you to approach difficulties with resilience and a positive attitude. Step two is to build a strong support network. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift, encourage, and support you. Lean on them during challenging times and be willing to offer support in return. A strong support network provides a sense of belonging and can help you maintain resilience. Step 3 is to practice self-care. Take care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Engage in activities that recharge and energize you. Prioritize sleep, exercise, and relaxation to maintain a strong foundation for resilience. Step 4 is to cultivate optimism and gratitude. Focus on the positive aspects of your life and express gratitude for them. Practice reframing negative situations into opportunities for growth and finding silver linings in challenging circumstances. Step 5 is to embrace self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding during difficult times. Accept that setbacks and failures are part of life and remind yourself that you are doing your best. Show yourself the same compassion you would offer a dear friend. Remember, maintaining resilience is an ongoing practice. It requires self-awareness, perseverance, and a belief in your ability to overcome challenges. By maintaining resilience, we can navigate life's hardships with strength, grace, and an unwavering spirit. So, there you have it. The seven secret acts of highly professional people embrace discipline, cultivate continuous learning, practice effective communication, adaptability, embrace accountability, nurture relationships, and maintain resilience. By incorporating these acts into your life, you can embark on a path towards professional success. Remember, these acts are not isolated but interconnected, forming a powerful foundation for growth. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. Together, let's cultivate resilience, embrace growth, and navigate life.